Hello, everybody. God bless you. And welcome back to AAP TV. I'm Apostle Catherine Abigail Price, and I'm happy that you are here on today. Right now, this is breaking news. This is part two of our video. Uh, Biden may be stepping down. This is part two. So if you did not see part one of our video, uh, Biden may be stepping down part one. Check that out. And I want to say thank you for being here on today. We're trying to keep you updated on the latest news. Uh, for those of you that are a part of our membership, uh, you've joined our membership channel uh, with Abigail Price TV. Um, we have re-uploaded another video from yesterday that was cut off. So you will be able to look at the entire broadcast as it has been uploaded to members only. And so I want to share with all of you that are out there, if you really enjoyed this channel, I want you to pray about joining our channel and supporting us through members only. You can go over there to Abigail Price TV and, and, and join, follow the steps and join. This helps us to be able to uh, stay afloat and to provide for the finances of this ministry and the things that are involved. So if you appreciate this ministry, do us a really big favor and pay it forward, pay back it to the ministry that is blessing you and keeping you it, uh, covered with the news, information, words that comes forth from God and his throne. Uh, the latest video was, was God showed me about this election and, um, in 2024, God gave me a particular word and we have uh, information that confirms it. And we're just keeping our eyes on all of these things. So with that being said, I had to uh, re uh, record this broadcast because I uh, uploaded it earlier and I've been having problems. So please bear with me. Thank you for those of you that tells me that the audio was out on the video. That helps me a lot. But I'm actually re-recording part two of uh, Biden may be stepping down. So this is further information about President Biden may be stepping down. It's not always as good as the first video because you're in the moment. So I hope I can recap everything that I said in the first video. The information that I'm going to be share, sharing with you is from our very own AJ. And I don't know if you know who AJ is just by initials, but when you are going to hear his voice, you will know who he is. The reason why I'm going to say AJ, because I know that they are doing drastic things to him and they may not want his information or uh, the things that he is saying to go far and wide. He just uh, did a video not long ago saying that they were going to try to unalive him and they were going to try to unalive uh, former President uh, Trump. And we see that that has taken place as well. And so I always say AJ is a prophet and he just never walked into it spiritually. But everything that he has said down through the years has transpired. And we do see that they have uh you know, brought him under scrutiny and under attack. He's actually going through some things right now. Um, but with that being said, I want you to hear this video clip of him talking about uh, President Biden uh, stepping down. Again, if you didn't hear part one of this, I will put it in the comment section below. And also I will put the link to become a member uh, to this uh, channel. I will put that also in the comment section below. Let us know when you have done that. Um, also, I will be uploading um, another very, very important informational video to the members only. So you're not going to want to miss this. This is so in depth. This is so important. And these videos about are about prophetic in time. Okay. The prophetic in times in our day. And uh, I want to say thank you for those that are a part of the ministry and are supporting it financially. You think enough of this ministry and the work that we do to support us financially. And we want to say thank you by giving you exclusive content that we will not be putting publicly on our 
uh, social media pages. Okay. So make sure you're um, connected to us and have joined so that you can get this exclusive content. Amen. And so I want you to hear what Alex Jones is saying right now. Take a listen to this. Will announce he's stepping down. And by stepping down, he's going to drop out as the nominee. He will stay in office and they'll boost him and say he's wonderful and he can pardon his corrupt family and steal a bunch more money. But Biden will announce he is not the candidate by July 20th. You heard it here first. While other networks lie to you about what's happening now, InfoWars tells you the truth about what's happening next. Visit InfoWars.com forward slash show and share the link today. There's no doubt you can see the decision's been made. They're, 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 they're pretending like there's, there's some process going on of democracy here. But there's not. It's an oligarchy. The decision was made years ago to make Biden step down during the convention. We told you that. But Biden said, no, I'm staying. And now they're forcing him out. But the indictment, the conviction of Hunter, all the pressure, none of it has been working. The corporate media making an open season on Biden, that's not worked. And so now they are just destroying him in the press. And, well, here's the headlines. Biden told Ally he's weighing whether to continue in the race or not. That's out of the mouth of the New World Order, the New York Times. President Biden has told a key ally that he knows he may not be able to salvage his candidacy. We cannot convince the public in the coming days that he is up for the job after a disastrous debate performance last week. And now they admit that Hunter, for weeks, has been in the meetings at the White House and basically operates with Jill as co-president. Continuing. Pelosi distances herself from Biden. Now says legitimate to question if he has dementia and he may need to be removed. Second Democratic congressman declares no confidence in Biden. That's Lloyd Doggett of Texas, 2024 candidacy after he says Trump is going to win. That's Lloyd Doggett of Texas. Now James Coburn wants Biden gone. Democrat kingmaker to tell him what I really feel. Raskin, whose dad was a famous commissar, rounding up Christians in mass and killing them. Look it up in Russia. Now he's a commissar here. Says, I know it's a moving target. It's got to happen quickly, but I can guarantee you there will be a massive unity because yeah, there are a bunch of cult members and focus on the task when we get to the end of the process. And it's happening very quickly. Yeah, Biden will announce he's stepping down. And by stepping down, he's going to drop out as the nominee. He will stay in office and they'll boost him and say he's wonderful and he can pardon his corrupt family and steal a bunch more money. But Biden will announce he is not the candidate. By July 20th, you heard it here first. Major U.S. Democrat donors threatening party over Biden. Big article on Infowars.com. To save and to serve his country, President Biden should leave the race. In the New York Times. If not President Biden, then who? Well, they have Democrat polls out and they say they believe it will be Kamala Harris. It's her party now, as we're being told. Let's play Representative Raskins, as I mentioned it, on the Democrat ticket. Here it is. Do you agree with Congressman Doggett? Well, look, um, you know, we are the party of democracy and freedom right now, and everybody is asking one question within the Democratic Party. And I know that's true of President Biden and Vice President Harris and my friend Lloyd Doggett and everybody in the House and the Senate and all of the members of the Democratic Party, the tens of millions of people across the country, which is how do we defeat Donald Trump and how are we going to defeat the threat of authoritarianism and keep the progress of democracy and freedom moving forward in the country. And uh, we are not operating like an authoritarian religious cult the way that the Republican Party operates now. There will be lots of discussion and lots of people weighing in. And I know this is a moving target. It's got to happen quickly. But I can guarantee you, Chris Hayes, there will be massive unity and focus on that task when we get to the end of this process. And it's happening very quickly, I think. I said, 
So basically what they're saying is they are not a cult. They basically are saying that under the Republican Party and the things that is coming with 2025, it is going to be a totalitarian government and people are going to be forced to do certain things. And they basically are equating that to things um, that women won't have the right to choose to do with their own, to do with their own bodies. So this, this has a lot of moving parts. Like he said, they're talking about this. They, they're making it seem like as though that they're civilized. Again, guys, I am not affiliated with any party. I'm just giving you what I'm hearing. They're basically saying we are going to be civilized and discuss this and come to a conclusion for what is best. So they're basically making it seem like they're compromising their reasoning, they're being rational, and they're holding a discussion about all of this. But at the end of the day, like um, AJ said, it has already been discussed most likely years prior to this, that Biden would not remain in uh, administration. And then, then again, uh, from part one, they basically are saying that Kamala may be the next running uh candidate for their Republican party. But as of right now, anybody else is uh, capable of uh, running as well, but she will be one of the candidates. I don't know if the major people like Obama will endorse her or whatever, but she is looking for her a VP um, that will uh, be a part of her team. So again, check out our part one to this video so that you can get all of the uh, info concerning what I played earlier. This is just further intel uh, information on what is uh, further happening coming from uh, AJ, who I considered more of a reliable source. But all of this is not to me considered um, factual and actual until I hear it from Biden, step on that national platform and say, I'm stepping down out of the election. Now, whether he will step down from president, being the president and letting Kamala run the, uh, the nation for before, you know, um, before the election. I don't know about that part because we do know he is sick right now. Um, but you know, a lot of people took to the internet and they wished, uh, you know, they said some very horrible things about president Trump when he was, uh, you know, attempted, you know, assassination. I know they're, uh, they're censoring certain things that we say, but, um, the Lord said that he wished that no man perish. So, in all of this, we know this is about trying to uh, bring the nation back into alignment with God and his will. But that is not going to happen just through uh, election. It is not. It is not going to just happen. I know people want to think that this would make a significant difference. But again, I said on our members only video, it's going to take a whole lot more than one election to really make a difference. This nation has to come back to God wholeheartedly. And I, I'm afraid that people think that salvation lies in man. And, and, and it's going to take more than that is what I'm saying. So again, we are to be prayerful. God was actually looking for Israel. Uh, he wanted to be the king of Israel, but they wanted it. They wanted a people. They wanted, um, they wanted to be like all other nations that had a king. And so again, like I said earlier, um, I believe that people is still looking for salvation in man. And, and, and I believe that uh, people will go back to being, um, the, you know, their sinful self and the nation will uh, continue to spiral out of control. The way uh, I'm looking at it via the spirit. Remember, we look from the spiritual perspective. People are thinking it's a one uh, one and done I uh, thing. if President Donald Trump formed former president Donald Trump gets in the office, but I'm here today to tell you that that is going to create even more of a rift in the nation 
and it is going to uh, cause more devastation to come. And a lot of people are not looking at all of the moving parts on both sides. They are not looking at how the enemy can be playing both sides, because if one is removed, who is going to take office and what is their true heart concerning um, the things of God? Either way it go. It's written in the Bible that certain things prophetically is going to transpire in the earth. I'm here today to tell you those things are going to transpire, is transpiring, and it's going to happen sooner than later. And so we have to come to grips with the reality that prophecy is literally being fulfilled, whether you understand it, whether it takes you off guard or not. We at the fueling station, we're going to remain steadfast, unmovable, and we're going to always keep abounding in the work of the Lord because the Bible says, uh, because our labor is not in vain in Christ Jesus. This is all I have for you on today. I may come back on doing another video, but I will be doing another video, informational video. Um, if not today, it is, this is going to be a very important video for, um, our members only. This is only going to be for the members. So I'm, I'm telling you right now, uh, I've been telling you for the last year or so that if people didn't begin to support the channel, that we were going to go um, do our exclusive videos for those that do support the channel. So um, if that is you, come on over there, join the channel. The link will be in a comment and the description box below. And we love to have you. And I want to share this exclusive information that is mine blowing. The world know what's going on and they are showing it through the information and the things that they are doing. Um, right now, there is also um, a Microsoft data. Uh, let's see, how should I say it? Let me say it right. So we have a lot to pray about. Amen. Uh, someone just sent me something just now. Hold on just a second. Yes, this is what I wanted to talk about. Uh, a live update, major global IT uh, outages, ground uh, grounding flights hit banks and businesses around the world. This is the latest update. Someone just sent this to me. But again, we are seeing so much um, news that is happening. Let me see if I could get that on the screen for us really quick, guys, please bear with me. Uh, I may have a different schedule this week because I'm trying to compensate as far as this type of stuff is, is going. So let me try to get this for you, uh, right now. Let's see here if I could get this on the screen. Uh, let's see. Is it an article or it is, is it, uh, hold on. I'm not seeing if it's an article. Okay. Let me just read what we do know. This is what they're saying that they do know. A major global IT outage is hitting industries across the world with airlines, banks, shops, and broadcasters affected. I know I've been having problems with uh, my uh, my broadcast. So broadcasters are affected. Major U.S. airlines have grounded flights and there are global delays. Uh, United Airlines and Delta have ordered a global ground stop, says Republic uh, Eric Swalwell, a member of the House of the Subcommittee on the Cyber cyber security. Microsoft says that it has fixed the issues, but the problem still persists and blue era screens and are appearing on public screens across the U S and beyond Texas based cybersecurity companies, um, crow crow strike says the problems stem from, a an defect found in the single contents updates for windows so window windows y'all know who is in charge of that okay uh, alaska state trooper said that the 9 one 
once services were down across the state. So this is very uh, important uh, news. Let me give you this part. Several major U.S. hospitals were forced to cancel surgeries and doctor's appointments amid the global computer outage. Okay. Um, again, you think this is something people are thinking that when President Trump get in the office or if he gets in the office that, oh, that's good. That's all we need. Honey, you don't even know what's really going on. If you believe that. OK, there is going to if they're doing this to prevent. The the things that people want the most, just imagine what they would do. I've been saying for the last year or so that uh, even if president elected uh, President Trump is elected, if that's what the majority of people want, they I've been saying they will unalive him. And I've been saying that adamantly because people this is this is the working of the enemy in all of this. I'm just saying it. People only view the enemy working from this is all the plans of the enemy in all of this, y'all. Y'all got to see it for what it is. Let me read further. Hospitals, staffs in New York and Boston said that they were unable to access some medical records and were having trouble figuring out where to send critical ill patients as several operating rooms have been shut down. Every day we have a plan that maps out really carefully so that we can plan our resources, said one of our employees of an infected New York uh, City hospital system. That's all blown up. In other words, their plan is all being blown up. The South, the staffer said, asking to not be identified because the person wasn't authorized to speak on behalf of the healthcare system. Okay, so I'll put a link to that article uh, below. And the NBC, this was NBC, just to cite the the source. Okay, it goes further. Let's see here. Microsoft CEO released the company's first statement about the outage early Friday afternoon saying um, Crowd Strike released an update and began impacting IT system globally. We are aware of this issue and we are working closely with Crowd Strike and across the industry to provide customers technical guidance and support to safely bring their system back online. Okay. There's more information. I'll let you read this uh, for yourself. Um, Southwest Airlines reported that the second day to the last day of the convention in Cleveland, the company ultimately said more than 2,000 flights were delayed and canceled. But while the outage happened midweek, travelers were still feeling some effects of it days later. And this report had to uh, drive colleagues with canceled flights home from uh, Cleveland. So they had to drive people home. Uh, travelers were stuck in JFK's airport in New York. Um, someone said, I'm just tired. Kobe Black says uh, he's 45, took the, the delay in, sh in stride, even though he wasn't sure uh, when the scheduled flight to Los Angeles would take off. It was originally set to depart at 6 a.m. He says, I'm just tired. I just want to sleep, says Black, uh, who woke up at 3 a.m. But otherwise, yeah, it's happened. One mother said that she didn't. One mother said that she hadn't slept the night before just so she and her infant could get to JFK on time. I'm still up running on no sleep, she said. So these are the things that is going to transpire in our world. We are in a world that is doing all kinds of things. Um, 
There are so many things. I want you to read this, this article because there's so much more that you will see here in this article. If you are interested again, I'll put the link in the description box. Uh, shout out to, um, Brother James for sending me this video and to sister our minister and uh, Tawana for sending me this article. OK, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. When I tell you I have another informational videos, two informational videos that are mind blowing. You're not going to want to miss these broadcasts again. I'm going to uh, I said I was going to try to do our informational videos through members only live, but I won't be able to do it because um, when I stream through YouTube, they don't allow you to show any videos. There is no way you can uh, why I'm streaming to members only. They don't have some kind of um, apparatus that will let you show the video to the people. So I'm able to come through members only through YouTube only, but I'm not able to show you the videos that I want to show you. So if I figure out another way to do that and come live and show you the stuff, I'll do it. But as of right now, I don't know how to show you the live video, even though I come um, um, live on YouTube only for members only. So I'll have to pre-record the videos like I'm doing, upload them to YouTube and just lock them for members only. Okay. That's how we're going to have to continue to do it because there's no other way to do it another way. If you are on here and you sow into the ministry and previously we asked you, uh, don't worry about, you know, becoming a member of the channel. We're asking you now to go ahead and do it because there is no way we can send these videos individually to people. We record them and YouTube keeps a, a track of all of the people that are members. You upload the video to them or on the channel and it goes directly to anybody um, that is a member only you get a, a notification. So that's much easier than sending it to individual people uh, that has been supporting the ministry. So do us a really big favor. We don't want you to miss out on the content because we know that you are already faithful. We do appreciate you. And so this would just make it a little bit easier for all of those that are participating to be able to get exclusive content that is very valuable concerning the end times. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Let us know by way of comments that you are enjoying the broadcast, that uh, it means uh, something to you. Thumbs up the video and please do us a really big favor. Share the video. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.